should wear hair bands more often. I like this. This is nice. I like this. Hi, welcome back. Um, thanks for joining me again. Um, we are going to do something kind of fun today. It's something I got a light bulb idea for one morning and I got really excited and I had to go out that same day and just get all the stuff to do it. Um, so basically what I'm going to do today is a full face of makeup using just the one brand. That brand is going to be Carter Beauty. Carter Beauty is an Irish female owned brand, which I'm really excited about. It's all cruelty free as well. So it's just kind of everything that we want to see. Well, I like anyway, I think it's great. Um, and yeah, I use the gel eyeliner. If you've watched some of my other videos, you'll probably have seen that, but I use that and I just think it's so good. It's fantastic. And I've never tried any of her other things. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna film it. So that is what I did. I bought an entire face worth of makeup. Sorry, there's a hair, loose hair. Um. So yeah, I bought an entire face of makeup. So I'm gonna just go obviously start to finish with it and try everything out. Um, so I guess we just jump straight into it. So I have her primer. This is the Carter Beauty Hold Tight Perfecting Primer. So all of this stuff comes in this little like dropper style bottle, which I don't really know how effective that's gonna be. Let's see if it does anything. No, okay. So that's completely empty. So it's definitely more just of like a, I don't wanna say gimmick. Gimmick is a bit harsh, but gimmick. Um, so how do we just, um, I mean, I can appreciate the style, but oh, so far it is not very helpful. Um, am I doing it wrong? That shouldn't have taken that long. Definitely, definitely doing something wrong. So I'm just gonna pop that on. I should probably use an actual mirror rather than my screen, but um, I will now in a minute. Okay. Now, she didn't have an eye primer that I knew about anyway, so I'm just gonna use this over the eyes as well. It's very um silky. Hmm. I wonder how it works. I have oily skin, so my makeup will break down um during the day, so I need a good primer as my base. Um okay. Alright, I think we're good there the eyes a little bit all right so then i got the foundation there i got the full measure hd foundation she does this one and a dewy finish foundation and it actually also comes in this kind of bottle so this one might be a little easier um i got the shade creme brulee so this is a pump it's a pump bottle okay never know how much to start with let's start with one pump and see how that goes okay Ooh. This looks really dark. <laughs> and I'm I'm planning to wear this makeup for the afternoon so that I can see how it kind of lasts on me. But um that looks that looks quite dark. Um well let's just start with the one pump. Let's see how we get on. Okay. <laughs> oh god, it's so dark. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Oh my God, oh wow, okay. Okay, we're gonna only have to use a little bit of this. This is very dark. Okay. Oh, it smells really nice though. Oh my God, hmm. That's nice. Okay. It's blending out fine. Yeah, it's not, it's not really dark. It's not as dark as it looks on my hand, but um, think maybe um, is it is it one shade too much maybe well, let's finish the face and find out I should probably stop getting ahead of myself okay I 
So another thing I really like about this brand is that um, the most expensive thing is about 15 euro, um, which I mean, I suppose if I hadn't already tried the eyeliner and saw how good it was, I would be a little bit skeptical at why everything is so cheap. Um, but I mean, so far things feel nice. They smell good. Sometimes cheap makeup stinks. Do you ever get that? It just smells really weird. Um, but I think, I think this is good. And the more I put this foundation on, I think the shade is actually okay for me. Um, hmm. Okay, you can definitely, it is definitely a little dark for me. Okay. Okay, maybe one shade less. Yeah, yeah, this is too dark for me. Um, okay, so I still have a little bit on my hand but because it's so dark I think I'll leave it plus I have the coverage that I need it's good coverage yeah okay I think I, I think I like this I just got the wrong shade that's all not bad not bad at all now um I wanted a liquid concealer but I couldn't get it um so I got this is a duo contour stick so you've got your highlighter slash concealer well, it's more of a concealer, it's not really a highlighter, um, on one end and you've got your contour on the other. So I'm just going to jump right in. I've actually, I've never used a stick contour um, product at all. So this is going to be interesting. I don't know how, um, how it's going to go on my skin, how it's going to look on my skin. I normally use powder, so this is going to be interesting. So I'm just going to use this as the highlighter from, or the, concealer for under my eyes um and then also i'll just do a little bit of contouring with it too okay here we go oh oh it's very thin okay that's probably not a bad thing i suppose it's you know at least then you can build it um it's not bad actually it looks okay all right, well, I'll blend that out before I do the contouring on my cheeks. So I've got just a damp beauty sponge. This one is Real Techniques and it is getting old. Okay, kind of, hmm, kind of blending away a little bit. Um, okay, hmm, hmm. I feel like it's kind of just taken away some of the foundation that was there. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll try the bronze end, the bronzing end, the shadow end, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And try that next and see how this goes. Oh, it looks dark. Okay. Alright, so I'll just, I guess, draw a line under my cheeks. I've seen people do this on Instagram. So I'm just going to copy. Maybe, maybe here. I like to bronze there. Alright. Blend this out. Oh god. Um oh. did I do this wrong? It's, uh... Okay. All right, that's kind of blended. Kind of. All right. Um, hmm. Actually, 
I think it looks better on camera than it does in person. I definitely do see a bit of a highlight from the um, other end. But it doesn't, hmm, doesn't look quite as good in person. Okay. It's not quite blending out. Maybe I need to use a brush. Let me try a brush. Hmm. It's definitely not taking away the product as much as the sponge was. But I don't know if that's a good thing because it looks really dark. Um, all right, well, I don't, I don't normally blend my contouring, um, quite this much, so I'm not sure that this product was a win for me. Um, although it is giving me a nice bronze. Um, okay, okay. Now, um, I couldn't get a blusher. Uh, I did try, I did try. So uh, I tried three places and I couldn't get a blusher. Um, so I'm just gonna use my own. But before I actually get to that, I have to set all of this. So this is, um, this is called Setting Standards and it's called Baking Powder. Um, so again, this is a bit different to what I would normally use I lift this out. This is a loose powder. I would normally use a pressed powder. Um, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to? Ah, oh, 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 there's a tiny little tab. Okay, okay, all right, uh, okay. Okay, all right, look, we're peeling off. There's a little sticky covering over the um, the holes. So I guess we just, I don't know, pop some of this out. Like I said, I don't use loose powder. I don't know the rules. Um, and I guess just kind of, oof, oof. just pat it around, I guess. going to just only take a small amount and just pat lightly because it is loose powder so it can I think generally loose powder looks a little looks a little bit more um powdery on your face um so I'll just pop a light layer just to help everything stay in place when I start getting oily oh it's really um, billowing. All right. Check my mirror. Oh, that actually is a really nice finish. I like this. This is nice. Oopsie daisies. Except for the fact that I keep spilling it on my lap. So actually, you yeah, know, that, that's nice. I like that. That's nice. Doesn't have a particularly strong scent to it like the foundation. But yeah, it's good. It's good. So I'm just using my usual Urban Decay blusher. Just gonna give myself a little bit of that on the cheeks. So okay, well there's the face. I like that. Overall, I like that. The um the cream contour wasn't great for me, but maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just my skin. I don't know. Maybe if you've got dry skin, it's gonna be really nice for you. Oh, sorry. Got to uncross my legs. Okay. I'm sitting on the floor. Um, so glamorous. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'll move on to the eyes now. So, Okay, so I have got the um, Warm Velvet Eyeshadow Palette. This is actually really nice. They have three palettes, from what I can tell. Um, they've got one that's kind of an apricot shade. Um, 
palette they've got a nude palette and they've got this one which is kind of like reds and um more like rich colors i suppose warm rich colors sort of like autumn toned colors which i like and i don't have that many of as well i have loads of nude palettes and stuff like that so i figure this is a this is one that I'm missing, so that's it. Okay, there we go. So, oopsie daisies. Um, all right, so I, I did have an idea of what I was gonna do with these shades. They're quite nice, like there's a nice mix of matte and shimmers. Just give you a nice close up of that there. Um, so yeah, um, all right, well I guess without further ado I'll just get going with it so I'm just going to do kind of I'm going to use uh this line of colors here take too much I don't know how pigmented it's going to be so always start off small you can always build you can always add more it's going to be hard to take things away so all right I'm going to just use that kind of a transition shade in the crease okay I like that that's nice There is pigment to it, definitely. It's great. Um, so, don't really have to build it too much, which is lovely. We like that. Um, and it blends. It's got a nice finish on it. I think I like this. Okay, so we're just going to, I'm just really blending that all over. I'm not really going to talk you through quite so much what I'm doing because this is more about the products but I am just kind of giving that a bit of a a blend all throughout the crease area bring it upwards a little bit as well you know why not so then the next bit is I'm going to just go into a darker shade and just do that on the outside too so far decadence I think is good it's a good shade so far all right. Oh, this one's such a nice warm shade. Oh, I like it. This looks really weird. <laughs> so intense. I think it's gonna look nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna go underneath the eyes now, just do a bit of under eye, and then I'm gonna use my final shade, which is a really nice shimmer, because why not pop a bit of shimmer on? It's Saturday, you know? Gotta have some fun on Saturday. Gotta put shimmers on. So I'm just gonna use those same two colors again and pretty much just mirror on um, my lower lash what I did on my eyelid. Um, just kind of go in with the, the lighter color first and then just deepen it at the edges with the other color. Okay. Should I go in with something do you know what? I'm going to add in a wild card. I'm going to throw in a new color and I'm going to throw in truffle. Just give me a little bit more smoke because I quite like smoky looks on me. I like the way they look. I am so eloquent. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go in with Affluent um, and just, I'm actually going to, just going to take some on my finger 
because ooh, that looks nice um i just find that's the best way to put shimmers on um you get the most payoff with them oh oh this is nice oh this is good oh, okay yeah yeah good woman marissa yeah i like this I'll deal with that in a minute. Okay, I'm not bringing it too far up the eyes because, oh, that looks intense. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna blend in a minute. <laughs> we're gonna do a little blending on this. But wow, <laughs> that is some intense shimmer. Good stuff, did I do it again? Oh my God. I really hope this comes off. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Right. Do you know what? I might have to add in another little color just to tone this down a bit. Um. Because wow. Everything always looks a bit funny before you put on your eyeliner, though, doesn't it? And your mascara. Once you actually put your eyeliner and your mascara on. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, things start to come together a little bit. All right, let's try and get rid of the mask. Okay, okay, okay. This is this is long wear. This is okay. All right, we're just gonna have to just gonna have to take off some of the foundation with it and just use whatever's left on the brush to. Go back over the area. Oh, there's still some lasting shimmer to this. Okay, this stuff is going to be on me all day. Well, that's a good thing. Just make sure you get it only where you want it and not on your cheeks. Okay, okay. Okay. I think this is good. All right. Well, we're not quite done. I think what I will do maybe is take golden just to sort of lighten up the inner corners a little bit. I don't know, I feel like it'll make things just sort of sit better, look a little bit more. Um, okay. 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 Yeah, that's... That looks a little bit more deliberate. Okay, so I guess what we've learned here is that the uh, shimmers are quite strong, which is a great thing, but be warned. Make sure you only use a little bit. Onto the eyeliner. Okay, so, oh my God, my legs are going dead. I've been filming for nearly an hour. Ooh. All right, oh, that's the brown one. Okay, so, um. As I mentioned before, I use the gel eyeliner, um, but because I wanted to try things for the first time in this video, I didn't want to use that gel eyeliner. But what I got was the um, pencil eyeliner. It's called Pencil, pencil Pusher, and I got it in black. That's just twisty up one. Um, so yeah, I haven't used pencil eyeliner in a very long time, which is partly why I bought this one. Um, but also going to be a little bit daunting <laughs> to try and do any sort of like wing with a pencil. So I'm not gonna do a big one. I'm just gonna do a little bit of one. Okay, all right. Okay, here goes. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, I think you definitely have to build this. Oh, there's the sun again. It's actually, it's not bad. It's fine. I like it. I'm gonna put a little bit on my, on my lower lash line as well. I'm just gonna kind of, 
smudge it a bit. Okay. Yeah, okay, I like this. All right. I'll just um, clean it before I go into the other eye because I have some of that shimmer on it. So just get it all fresh again, ready to go. And I'm just gonna do the other eye and I'll be back to you in a minute. Okay, so that is both eyes lined. Um, so next is the mascara. And they have two types. They have a lengthening and a volumizing. So I got the lengthening and it's called Come Hither. Interesting. Let's give it a try. I didn't really actually talk about the eyeliner. I think I like it. It goes on okay. Obviously it's, an, it's a pencil, so it doesn't go on quite as easily as a gel or a liquid. Um, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised with it, to be honest, because I was able to do a wing. Mostly this one got a little messy, but um, I was able to do a wing with it, so that's good. And it's a nice, nice texture, it's a nice look. So, okay, this isn't, um, I don't feel like this is very lengthening. Um, hmm, I don't know. I feel like my lashes are just coated. I don't really feel like they look any longer. Um, but yeah, they're coated. Um, okay, interesting. Okay, so there's both eyes mascarad. Um, yeah, it's not it's not great, but it's fine. Um, so far anyway, I hope it lasts because. I have been using the Too Faced mascara and that's actually been flaking and leaving little mascara dots on my cheeks, which isn't nice. I don't like that. So um, hopefully this one at least lasts and doesn't flake. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do now are my brows and I don't normally do my brows. So this is interesting. Um, honestly, normally all I do is just get one of these bad boys and just brush out whatever um, other makeup kind of got in them in the process up to now and just pop them into kind of a neat shape and then just go um, because my brows are very dark and they're quite full and uh, I honestly think that putting brow product in them just makes them look really weirdly intense. So I mean what are we waiting for? Let's do this. It is the Brow Out um, Defining Pencil. And I got it in, uh, oh, here it is. Um, I got it in medium because my choices were light, medium, or extra dark. And I know I do have very dark eyebrows, but I think extra dark would have been a bit much. Dark probably would have been ideal. So medium might be a bit light for me, but hey. We're having fun today, you know, we're giving things a try, aren't we? Um, look at me, I did a copper toned eyeshadow look. That's, that's new. So let's try out a lighter eyebrow color. Here we go. I'm just gonna, it's a pencil, so I gotta do like strokes. Um, so I'll just fill in, it's a bit sparse around the front in some places. So I'll just, kind of, oh, actually that's not too bad. that's not bad at all and I'm just gonna fill in there that part annoys me on this brow right here it's like I'm missing a little section so I'll give that a little bit of depth oh my brows are full oh my god okay and just give the end a little bit of a bit more of a point okay I mean absolutely like bare minimum application um because as I say I really don't want to go heavy on this at all um but I mean it's it's doing a grand job it's 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 doing yeah it's doing fine so 
just kind of filling in the sparser areas and then just defining the tip, the tail, whatever. But okay, all right, yeah, cool. That was an okay shade for me. All right, um, went on easily enough. Didn't have to fight it or anything. It wasn't dragging. Um, yeah, I think I'm think I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. This is all so intense right now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. Well, then the only thing left to do is my lips. And in the spirit of trying new things, I got a lip gloss because I haven't used lip gloss in years. Um, but this one is what specifically do they call it? Oh, lip tint. Free speech lip tint is what they call this. And this is in the shade Louise. And I wanted something that was kind of a natural tone. Um, not so much like nude, that would be like brownie or um, particularly pink because nude for me is more along this line, like something a little bit closer to my natural lip color. So let's go, okay. Hmm, okay. Oh, this isn't my natural lip color at all. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, that's so pink. Haha, <laughs> okay. Oh wow, there is pigment in that. Okay. Okay, I actually think I like this. <laughs> oh, hoo -hoo, I'm going to be very colorful. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, guys, it's so bright. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sitting in front of a big window and the sun is beaming in at me and it's getting really warm. And oh God, I've been filming for ages. <laughs> so this is, I guess the final look. What I'm going to do is I am going to spray it with my own setting spray, Urban Decay setting spray because Carter Beauty did not have one. And I do, as I said before with the eyes, I do wanna give this makeup the best chance um, to last and to look well because ordinarily I would be using a setting spray anyway. So I'm just gonna use that to let it last better and give it a fair review. So I'll just, just gonna do that. Okay, so that's my finished look and I actually do really like it. Uh, yeah, no, the, um, okay, so the eyeshadows were great and the um, powder was fab, the foundation. Yeah, so far so good. Like there were a couple of bits not great for me, but Overall, I think absolutely fantastic. And um, I mean, especially considering it's so budget friendly, you know, it's actually quite good for such a budget brand. Um, it doesn't feel like a budget brand for the most part. Um, so I am really happy with everything so far. I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep using a lot of this, I think. Hopefully it lasts well. Um, I might check back in in a few hours and just kind of see how it is just kind of show you um, how it lasts because you know if it wears off or it smudges or anything I think that's just as equally important as the application I think you need to know how well a product lasts um, to know if it's worth your time and your money um, so I will check back in in a few hours with that so stay tuned for that <laughs> thank you again for joining me i hope you have a great day um and yeah again another socially distanced high five if you made it all the way to the end with my incessant babbling because that seems to be what i'm doing these days um yeah so i'll check back in i'll let you know how things go otherwise bye 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 okay so me back again hi um, so I've been wearing this for a few hours now and I've even been out to the shop. So I had a mask on and everything and it's actually holding up really nicely. Um, yeah, overall, do you know what? Thumbs up, I think. I think maybe even two thumbs up because the only thing I didn't really like out of it was the, um, contouring stick. Um, so mostly everything else is fine. Like, I mean, the mascara is not really lengthening, but it's still fine mascara. It's still staying put. It's not flaking away or smudging or anything. Everything is holding up really well. 
So two thumbs up from me. See you. Bye. Oh, and one more thing. Okay, so now I I am <laughs> I am sworn to say this. I have been told to say this, but my boyfriend, who knows nothing about makeup, figured out how to use the primer. Um how to actually get it out of the bottle. So that's fantastic. I'll show you now how to do that. Um, basically what you need to do is you need to make sure that the um, pump is empty, that there's no air in it or anything um, before you put it in to the primer and then you just squeeze it in and it fills up and it's great. So yeah, um, credit to my boyfriend for figuring that one out when I couldn't. Um, but yeah. Uh, he figured that out in like two seconds. <laughs> that was a little embarrassing. Um, but anyway, bye bye.